Hey guys, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com and hoping today to bring you guys something pretty special. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I feel like this is kind of a really, really neat situation here. And um, first and foremost, I want to let you guys know I know nothing about wooden boats. So, let alone regular boats. But uh, <laughs> this is a wooden boat. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the vessel itself. And first thing I want to tell you guys is this was built in, it's a homemade, custom made um, uh, 17 foot, but they call it an 18 foot Simmons Sea Skiff. And actually here is the plans, planks, drawings, hopefully you guys can see this in the um, sun. It's an 18 foot Simmons Sea Skiff. Uh, original plans were built in 1958 by T.N. Simmons Boat Shop, Myrtle Grove, New Wilmington, North Carolina. The length of the boat is 17-1, beam 5 foot 8 with a 5 inch draft. And the plans are all scaled one to one actually for each plank um, on the vessel. It was built into and titled in 2007. Um, it's a South Carolina titled boat and also uh, so is the Mercury 25 EL. Um, on that too and it's also a 2007 trailer as well now um, I'm gonna basically just walk through the 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 story behind this vessel is pretty simple um, the original purchaser that had this custom made um, had it for a few years use it lightly very lightly as you can see based on the condition it hasn't been repainted um, and his wife passed away and the current owner uh, purchased it a few years back and really just hasn't had enough time to really use it and wants it to go to a good home with somebody that is going to take care of it. Obviously it's already been taken care of. Um, first and foremost I want to let you know it also comes with a complete winter cover uh, that I actually forgot to pick up yesterday when I picked up the boat but I will get that so you can keep it protected. It is in unbelievably good shape all the way through. This isn't your normal as you can see normal um, shoddy little wood boat running around. Obviously you're gonna have your few little nicks and scratches but the bottom paint looks good. You guys can see what I'm looking at underneath. I'm gonna try and go slow and take the shakiness out and ending. As far as the exterior goes, um, you know everything is just clean and neat. Basically, uh, you know if this boat has 75 hours on it, I would be shocked. Um, I can't see this motor or the boat having any, you know, somewhere between 50 and 75 hours. Uh, I actually uh, tried to get a computer printout of the EFI, um, but um, they didn't have an adapter for a 25 EL. So, uh, but I'm going to call it under 100 hours without a doubt. I have no problem with that. Now, as we go through, the Bimini's in great shape, the engine's in great shape. Uh, the current owner uh, and previous what they did is they put, um, they reinforced the transom uh, because the general design was set up for a two-stroke motor versus a four-stroke and do the little bit of extra weight. What they did is they just put some plates on. So um, overall she's about as clean and neat as it's going to get and I will tell you um, trying to get this motor out of here uh, if you're going to try and take it is going to be really hard to do too. Uh, but I mean once you undo the clamps it'll pop out. Keep in mind this there's no tilt and trim on this. Um, it is an electric start but you also um, you know can start it from right there as well. Uh, my recommendation on the engine uh, last service was probably about a season and a half ago would be an up-to-date service and that would be on you obviously. And um, she hails with a six gallon gas tank and I'm going to pop up and in. Let me go on the other side so I can give you a walk through. She's just pretty bad. And in fact, in talking to a few different people, um, they said this thing would ride great on the water, uh, especially when we get into that choppy water around here for a 17 foot boat. Um, let me just get in. Oh, oh, that hurt. Okay. All right. As I'm going to, uh, just so you know, floor is solid all the way through. Um, like I said, I don't have anything really negative to report for the product that's being introduced. Um, I was told, basically as you guys are taking a look, I guess the uh, riveting is really cool um, and good. That's something good that's done on wooden boats. 
you guys can see up in this area now also if you guys see in the back of my truck the seller put um you know little uh cushions on everything and um so you can you know you put a cushion here put a cushion on that chair right there i think six gallon gas tank with flares and your um fire extinguisher which i just checked and it is uh full and i think the battery is in this area right here which would be these screws would be removed and come out i think uh from what i understand this is a barrett i'm not 100 percent sure i can't see the markings i want you guys to understand something understanding that it's a wooden boat the asking price on this boat is 39.95 which is pretty firm you have that value in this chair the engine the trailer and the bimini alone okay run your numbers however you want um you know if you want to just buy that and leave the boat behind i'm more than happy to keep it you know with the controls obviously so she's just being priced to be sold to go a good go to a good home now let's just take a quick walk through so you guys can see i mean if it was me i'd probably touch up the paint in a couple spots and you know maybe yearly or bi-yearly uh redo the floor um you know this chair let's just see how comfy this is without the cushion Ooh, that's not bad now notes from the sellers and a couple note from the seller and something i'm going to go over with you from what i understand the steering is a little bit tight um as would be expected because you don't have hydraulic steering um i am going to try and get this vessel out on the water tomorrow if for any other reason just out of curiosity uh to how she rides on the water and also there is no bilge pump we've already discussed there is no um uh tilt and trim and um i don't think there's enough room in there to install one but you don't really need it and there's no bilge pump in this boat but the seller what he did is in case he got stuck out in choppy seas has a bilge pump on the boat and um basically what it is is and i actually tested it out this morning he's got a little rig here and basically you just hook your two wires up to your bilge pump it would be my recommendation on this vessel one to get the engine service and also i would probably install a bilge pump down in here with a through hull fitting now also the reason why i'm pulling these off is you can see that this wood which is glassed treated is in excellent condition because you guys know as far as the stringers going through first thing anybody's going to look at is uh, underneath so you can see let's just Oh, this side too. If I can get it off, you know, then a little bit of dirt. Oh, that feels good. And basically, but I would install a bilge pump in there, um, and um, you know, get that kind of hooked up. But that would really be about it. That was all I would do to this vessel and keep it covered in the winter. So anyway, I think she's pretty cool. Um, and if you're interested in this kind of thing, it is available. Uh, we can take it out on the water. Um, and uh deposits required obviously to put it under contract so anyway i'm going to leave that like that i'm going to hop down if you guys have any other questions or you want to check her out i think uh i don't think it'll be disappointing if you're in the market for a wooden boat or if you're in the market for a bimini a chair and a trailer and a motor and you want to do something else with the wooden boat you're more than welcome to uh quick note lights on the trailer do not work from what i understand i see some wires disconnected and that might be it so anyway, Rob out here at I'm Always in Hot Water.com with just a really, really cool boat. Um, you guys have a great and safe boating day.